In this video, I'm going to show you a route combination that I actually think is unguardable in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. I also want to let you know that we post videos like this every single day. So we should be checking back daily um, with our tips and tricks to help you become a better Madden player. Now, I wanted to do this video because it doesn't require Hot Route Master. And it's a concept that I have been running a ton um, in my own personal trips tight end offense. Now, if you want to get my full trips tight end ebook, you can get all of our ebooks all year long. We've got over 20 of them right now. We got more on the way in my Patreon. My Patreon is only 10 bucks a month, gets you access to everything. Um, we do weekly updates, weekly tips in there as well, um, kind of more like high level tips. And then we also do, of course, our ebooks. So if you want to get access to all of that content, there's a link in the description if you want to check that out. But guys, I've been running this concept pretty much nonstop, and I really haven't been stopped. Um, it's a really, really, really good route combo because it's basically, I, I want to reiterate something that I continue to come back to um, that I heard J-Wall say, I think last year, Madden is a game, especially on offense, Madden is a game of high lows. We're always looking for high lows. All Madden is is high lows, right? And so this is a concept that is going to really give you um, some high lows, and it's what makes it so good. So you can do this out of any plan trips tight end. I, of course, like to do this out of PA counter go, but you can do this out of any concept in this formation. What we're going to do is we're going to flat our outside receiver, uh, outside slot receiver, Randall Cobb. We're going to in route Devontae Adams. We're going to slant Marquez Valdez Scantling. We're then going to, if you're worried about pressure, you can um, just flat the tight end if you're worried about a blitz. If you're not worried about a blitz, the best setup is to put the tight end on a smart routed in and then put the running back on an out. And so what we've created is we've created a high low on the left side between the dig route to Tunyon and the out and the flat to cop. We've also created a high-low on the right side between the out to Jones and the slant to Valdez Scantling, okay? And then lastly, we've created a high-low actually in the middle of the field between the tight end and Devontae Adams. Now, your first read on this play is your two flats. I like to read my flat to Jones. I'll look at the slant quickly. Normally, it's not going to be open early. And then I'll look to the flat to Cobb. So my first read is my flat to Jones. If they drift back off of it, or I feel like I can get that ball in there, I'm gonna take my five yards. This really is a play that is designed to force them to have to hard flat um, because it's gonna open up the rest of your offense, okay? Um, and then on the left side here, go boom, come back over here. One of those two routes are almost always gonna be open, either the flat route to triangle or the in route to Devontae Adams. So again, Really simple concept, really simple. Now, it, let's say that you're, so that's cover four drop. I'll show you one more thing about this. Um, the slant route to the, this receiver is really good. You see that it gets about 15 to 20 yards down the field. So even though it looks like it's only, you know, a five, you know, just a simple slant that's only gonna go just a little bit, it's actually gonna go fairly deep down the field. And if you, if you are, if you know it's zone coverage, you might consider um, taking your running back and just putting him on a swing. That will make it a little bit more of a natural high-low you see right there. Um, but I like the out route because it gives me a read against man-to-man. -man. Now, which is what inevitably they're going to try to do to stop this. So, and then lastly with cover four, your high-low on the left, your high-low to the tight end. This, high, this tight end high-low is really underrated. A lot of people really like the tight end post, but let me just kind of give you just a brief, brief overview of what happens. It's primarily in cover three. In cover three, if you put the tight end on a post, which I don't have a post um, in this in this playbook here, but if I were to put the tight end on a post, it's going to cut a little bit more vertically. It's going to go to about the 40. If you watch this cover three defense, if because there's no vertical pull route, 
I can still throw that there, but you see that that corner is, if I, if I have any, any deeper than that in route, he'll play that. So the smart routed in route, I think is one of the most underrated routes in the game to this tight end um, this year because it beats man really well. And it also gets underneath the thirds, um, which a lot of people like to try to throw. It's like right there, see that? See how I can consistently count on that read against a cover three third. Now, another thing that I want to teach real quick, this is something I've talked about a lot this year, but let's say they're playing curl flat coverage on the left. This flat will get sucked in so bad and you can just throw that route to Cobb. It's also a great read. This is a great concept if they're double Mabeling because the routes are going to get open at a depth that is very difficult for the zone drops. Now the running back really good against curl flats. Um, I would also tell you that against cover three, this, um, this, the slant is still fairly decent because you'll see that yellow, see how much that yellow is sucked in. And then you see that's wide open. So again, that's, I think that was about 15 yards or so that we're getting on that play. And then cover two is probably the concept that most people are going to go to, to try to defend this. And it's not a bad idea. But the problem is, again, the high lows on both sides of, on the sidelines. So if you take a look here, your first read, you can check that down, break a tackle, and you break a tackle and that's, you know, nine to 10 yards. That's one of my favorite reads to throw right now because it's just super simple. Get the ball in your hands, make it easy on your quarterback, right? But then the next thing that we can do off of this is if you take a look on the, um, if you take a look at this concept, Flat, no. Flat on the left, no. But look at this. Watch it suck that cloud down. And now I can hit that route. Another really, really good. Again, the high-low of both sides of the field. Okay? Now, the next thing that I want to show you real quick here is the ultimate check down in this offense, which is this in route. Because they're going to be busy trying to stop these two high-lows. They have to go... They have to go guarded on either side. I mean, as you can see, I can throw this against any coverage. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's cover three. It doesn't matter if it's cover two. And let's talk about an adjusted cover two. You know, we're going to go with a double flat on the left. we got a hard flat here on the right and a vert hook. I mean, we've got some decent coverage. We're dropping, um, you know, dropping eight, nine people into coverage. Um, but what you'll see here is this dig really serves as a great little check down if things get dicey, if they if they take their user and they try to go guard the slant for example this dig is a really really good check down now one last thing i want to say about this against cover two that you need to be aware of is again trust your high low see how that guy follows down real bad and then i got the slant on the back end of that see that so i trust my high low on both sides they can only stop the flats if they man them up or if they hard flat Okay, that's the only way they're stopping the flat. Now, the last coverage I want to talk about is cover one robber. And this is why I like the running back out route because we our slant is going to beat man. Our running back out route is going to beat man. Our in route to Adams will sometimes beat man. And then our tight end will beat man. So we've got three man beaters on this play. Obviously, our first read is this out route and we'll just trust it. And again, if you really want to burn man, you could wheel him. You could get backfield master on him. But by and large, the majority of the time, he'll be fine. He'll, he'll cook man. Um, if he's not open, your slant should be right there to MVS. Obviously, Jackson's a lot better of a corner than he is. So he does have a, a little bit of an advantage. But let me show it one more time. And then the main man beater route is actually the tight end route. But anyway, see the running back there gets open. This guy gets open. And you see, I mean, it's just a simple read. It's, again, high, low, right, high, low, left. Now, um, let's take a look at this uh, tight end in route. With cover one, Robert, it's a little bit better because they do have the three wreck in the middle. Um, but what you should see here is a really good route against man. See that? Real simple. So you've got that against man. And then this is where you need a, more of an ability. But let's say they do these two purples, for example. And then let's say, you know, they go try to get the slot or they try to go to the tight end, right? Very common that they're going to go to the tight end. What you're going to need to have is this guy needs to have some kind of an ability to get open, I think. Uh, short out elite is really good in mutt. It's what I put on that player. So if you have a short out elite or you just have a route tech out there, he'll get open. I mean, it's it's not, 
it's not like he he won't. I mean, he will get open. Now, if you know for a fact it's probably man, my recommendation, um, my recommendation would be to streak Randall Cobb, and then um, the reason why is because it'll create these little bounce off logics, and a lot of times it gets either this guy open or it gets that fade wide open. Okay, so really simple route combo it's really good though and it beats everything here's match i didn't go over match but it cooks match too same thing running back's gonna pull this guy out of the way and you're basically making a read over the middle of the field so i mean it's real simple but this is this has been my favorite route combination for the last probably week and a half this is a really good combo so if you enjoyed the video if you like this kind of breakdown I'd really encourage you to check out our Patreon. We've got uh, a major update for our Trips Tight End coming out soon. It's got all of my Trips Tight End stuff. We've got, I think, like 12 pages of combos out of Trips Tight End this year. Uh, obviously, we have 20 other offensive and defensive ebooks as well, and you get all of them for just 10 bucks by joining the membership. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time.